Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Jimmy for dinner, and we are down in the Keys at Mermaid's Bay in Isla Mirada. This is crazy. We're gonna have the best week ever. And yesterday, I was in Mississippi, and we had one of the most spontaneous, most awesome days ever. None of this was planned, but all of this actually happened. I figure we'll start shooting about 6.20. I don't want to shoot past 8.20 because I want it to last. Park your buggies in the grass. There's flags 1 through 10 down the north side, 11 through 20 back down this side. Just please pick your shots. Don't shoot birds off the ground. Don't shoot low birds. If they're coming to you, shoot them out in front of you, not over your head, because when they fall in that tall grass, it's a loss. This is as American as it gets. This is a planted field with soybeans and, and sunflowers and whatnot. We're just having a good time shooting some doves. I know exactly where that bird is. You got the long shot. Told you. That dog right there is good. I was in front of that bird about 50 feet for that gum. He was 80, 90 yards. <laughs> When you shoot a dove, you've got to mark exactly where that bird was on the ground. Now, if the grass is a little bit higher, it makes it way harder to find the bird. He keeps this mode very short, so when the bird falls, you can find it. Hey, if you shoot a bird and he dies and you don't find him, that's not good. Yesterday, when I was invited to come out here hunting, this is the gun. It's a Model 680 Beretta, over and under. It's got two chokes, a full and a light full. So your first shot is a light full, and your second shot is a full. So uh, this gun fits really well. It's, a, it's really made for trap shooting, but today it's for dove hunting. Right here, it's a dove. I like the fact that we moved. Like, we're now, now lo no longer looking into the sun, but we're in the shade looking away from the sun, and we can see a lot better. When the hunt is over, make sure that you unload your gun and leave your gun safe. Then, I always take my shells and throw them in here. Do not leave your shells in the field because someone else is gonna have to pick them up or they just become trash. This thing's deadly, be careful. Beretta. <laughs> It just, in the hands of the right shooter, this thing is amazing. That's a really good gun. Yeah, for sure. Hey, uh, I have a bird in the grass right here as well. You let me borrow this gun, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. I wanted to give it back Did to you, man. <laughs> we definitely shot, okay? Oh, Every good. time I pulled the trigger, it went bang. It went bang. <laughs> I think I killed like 10. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. What is that gun? Tell me a little bit about it's, that gun. Uh, it is a Beretta 680. Yep. This is, uh, they come out with those in, in 1980. Do you? And that is the last of the hand grave receivers, too. Really? Yeah. So those, all, all the engraving on that's hand grave. Uh, yeah. This ain't no joke. I got the call last night about 11 o'clock to come dove hunting, and I said, I need a gun. This man came through right here. So uh, this is just life in the woods in Mississippi. But it doesn't end here. We're going fishing with these guys right here. Are we going to catch some fish or what? Definitely. Oh, definitely. What? Do you have fish. trout lines out or what? Trout lines. We put trout lines out yesterday afternoon about 6 o'clock, and they've been uh, 
savoring all night. <laughs> what are we gonna catch? Probably some blues and flatheads, hopefully. Hey, we're gonna catch 50, fish. I've never even seen a kip of flathead that big. So uh this is uh life in the woods and these all boys, this is the way we live. Okay, Twinkie. Why do they call you Twinkie for? <laughs> okay. All right, it's stored. <laughs> Master wild game butcher. He's a master shooter, is what he is, and he, he shoots a master gun. Okay, cut the wings off. Is that granddaddy's pocket knife? No. <laughs> Ain't very much to that. That's what you want. How, I don't know how long that was, but it's going to be good to, good to eat right there. We'll see y'all at the house. All right. We just got done with the dove hunt. We cleaned the doves. Now we're going fishing. They put the trot lines out yesterday and uh, hopefully it works out. We get a good one. We'll be heading to my house. Gonna eat. And then I'm gonna fly home. And I'm gonna kiss Sarah on the face. And I'm gonna give my girls a big old hug. That's life. We have made it to the river. What's up? You think we got a big one on the on the uh, trot line? <laughs> Look at that dog. Hey, we got a catfish or what? This is river. What are y'all building right here? Uh, it's silted in. So our old boat ramp, it just silted in. So we, we're digging it out. Cut the channel and building a dock. That's awesome, man. One thing that I've learned about this area is they live life. Uh, my slogan is all men die, few ever really live. All these men, they live. We are dove hunting this morning and we're catfishing now. Then we're gonna go cook. And I guarantee you, they're gonna watch the Mississippi State game like this afternoon. That's gonna happen. Even if the house is on fire, that's gonna happen. Look at these chairs. These are fancy, man. This is my insurance guy right here. So whenever we bought the house on the river, we got the insurance through him. So this part of the deal, we're gonna go catfishing, you know? This is just a great day. This entire video is filmed with my phone, which is way out of the ordinary. Red. Hey, if you're not first, you're last. Big one on here. <laughs> here you go, here you go. Get in the boat, son. It's right in the corner of the jaw. Just, just this, this take this it a blue cat or a channel cat? That's a little blue cat. That right there is going on the grill. Oh yeah. Oh Flat look head. at this! Oh boy, we got him lined up, son. Hey, Red, bring the net. The net, I'm gonna grab this thing by the hand. Hold on, hold on. Look at this, big old catfish. Come here, come here. Hold on, hold on. Son, when you gravel these fish or, or, or hand catch them, they're up underneath like log stumps or a box. And in their mouth, they have a lip right here. And you can get that, you can get your hand in there and catch them. But this one, he's gonna catch some ice. This is a blue cat. Let me tell you something. This catfish will bite the heck out of Superman. Look at that. So that's a blue cat. Let me show you all the difference. This is a flathead. That's your difference. 
What do y'all like to eat more? The flatheads? Flatheads. Flatheads. Or the flatheads are... Let's get rid of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> if I threw this catfish in the water, you'd see five yeah. grown men jumping after him. That's awesome. Good to meet you. Hey, it's very nice meeting you too. Literally, we have a flight at 2.30 today. So we're going to head back to camp, clean some fish, and uh, cook. Meanwhile, they're going to go and pull more trout lines. This is what they do. The truth is there's like a million ways to clean the catfish. I'm going to just show you how I do it. <laughs> we got a, a knife salesman here. He's like, take your pick. Who do you work for? Victor Knox. Uh, well, here we go. We got a knife and we got a catfish. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and this catfish is dead, is uh, I wanna feel his, I wanna feel that, that gut. This is the best piece of meat on this fish. So that right there would be the best piece of meat. I may be doing it wrong, I may be doing it right, but this is the way I'm doing it. Now, when these fish are in the water and you hear, boom, people think they're, they're, they're like clamping their jaws or their gills. This is an air bladder and the muscles around that air bladder, it strums it and that makes that drumming noise. So when you hear a catfish underwater make a loud boom, it's the air bladder, it's not their gills. You just come down the backbone, gently flay them out. Take your thumb and hold the, hold the meat up. Right down the backbone. Now this is a new knife. I've not ever used this knife before, so forgive me if it's not perfect, but we're gonna get it done and then we're gonna eat this rascal. There you go. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is no joke. We got the dog, that's the same dog from the boat. We got our man right here, we got the insurance man. <laughs> Mr. Briggs, he's cutting up a flathead catfish. These two right here, they're just managing the situation right now. And then we're over here cutting up some doves and uh, we're gonna make some poppers. And so literally that's a canal out there. We have cornhole. This is the Marlin bar. We got a TV right there. And uh, like literally you got to a bay over there and there's a whole Tom Bigby waterway. But this is like the life that we live. This is what we do. We're not like, we're not doing this for a video. We're just filming this, you know, so y'all can see what we do. I'm gonna show you how to make a, a popper. That's how we eat dove here in the South. There he goes. Look at this right here. We got these two young boys. What's your favorite YouTube channel? City Boys TV. City Boys? Sea Boys. Sea Boys. What's yours? Deer meat for dinner. Oh, I like this. He gets the first plate. <laughs> That's all Dove. He's making poppers. How's the fish coming along? We're getting there. Hair's going down good. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's just chilling out. Hey, dog. Look at that. What's going on, man? Not much. Enjoying life right now. I got my gun this morning. It was epic. I had That was perfect. This is a good life. And I can't wait for Sarah and the girls to come up here. We got cornhole. We got it all, man. Football, cooking, good food, good times. Man, I wish you were here. If you were here, what would you cook? Like, what would you have at this dinner? Potato salad, coleslaw, or something special? Leave in the comments below. Uh, this thing right here is amazing. We got our, our oil goes in here. Oh yeah. Look at you, man. Are you modeling this thing? Great yeah. seasoning. Oh yeah. Lots of Greeks. How many guys take the pull? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with like three. What you got going on? 
Look at this. Fresh. Hey, I like this. Turn gas off if it gets over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Those look so good. What do you think, Blake? This is the man right here who wrapped him up. What you got there, son? Fish. Yeah. Lord, thank you for this day and, and thank you for this food. Thank you for, for all of our friends and like what you've given us. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins and uh, forgiving us. Please be with us and God us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, this will call today with seven and a half shot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that right there. Robert Arrington Flathead. <laughs> the best. It's called a hammerhead. Mm, mm. <laughs> that tastes so good. What do you think? The fish is like. I've been eating it, but it's crunchy and it's fresh. It's so good. It's so good. Man, that's a fire. That's I don't good. know what Blake did to it, but that is probably the best dove poppers I've ever had. What do you do, Blake? Secret? So what do you do, secret? <laughs> it have to kill you. <laughs> We're having a great time. It's uh, about noon, and we've got a flight at 2.30 out of here, out of GTR, back to Florida, where I'm going to hang out and see my girls. And then this week, we're going to be in the Keys. I really, really wish you were here. We're very honored and very blessed to have this opportunity. For that, I say thank you. But for, that's all I got for today. Take care. God bless. And we'll be gone.